And here's our third example of how to find the focal length of the lens. Now this one is a little bit different in two ways. The back side of the lens has a straight edge. So that means that the radius of curvature of the back is infinite. That makes sense because if, if you try to find the center of curvature of a straight line, you got to go back and back and back and you'll never quite get there. So that's why the center of curvature for a straight end on the lens is infinite. Also, we place the lens, which has an index refraction of 1.5, inside water rather than air. So the outside index of refraction will be 1.33. So how does that change things when we try to find the focal length? Again, we use the very same equation, 1 over f is equal to n minus, mm. now we can't write n, n minus 1 because it is not 1 on the outside. Now we have to write n minus 1.33. This is the index of refraction of the medium outside the lens. Times 1 over r1 plus 1 over, oh, not plus, minus, that would cause a problem, minus 1 over r2. All right, now. Let's plug in the numbers for this, for this problem. So I have 1 over f is equal to 1.5 minus 1.33 times 1 over r1. Now remember, since r1 is bulging away from the observer to the left, that means that the radius curvature is a positive number greater than 0, so it's 1 over 20 centimeters minus 1 over infinity. Of course, infinity, let's see, 1 divided by infinity, that is 0. This term then simply drops out. And so we have 1 over f is equal to 1.5 minus 1.33 is 0 0.17 times 1 over 20. Of course, and then if we turn the equation around, because we're looking for f, we could then say, well, first let me, let me multiply this together. So 1 over f is this times that, so we have 0 0.17 over 20. And then when we turn that around, we have f is equal to 20 over 0 0.17. Now for that, I rather use a calculator. So what do we get? 20 divided by 0.17 equals, and so the focal length is equal to 118 centimeters. Notice that it is plus, so it's still a converging lens. Now be careful here. It's not the focal length of the lens if the lens is in air. It is the focal length of the lens when it's submerged in water. We will find it to be very different when we actually take the lens out of the water and put it back in the air. The focal length will be different. So in this case, the focal length in as the lens is in water is this much. It is still a converging lens because it's a positive number. All right, and on to our next example.